Greetings everyone and welcome to today's latest mix of build videos that I create for your enjoyment. Today's build I have is one focusing around Tower Assault Horn, Heavy Bowgun, a weapon that drops on Tower Colby Siege Event and is considered a very high tier Heavy Bowgun to get for its general war power. In this build I will focus on improving on the strengths that the Heavy Bowgun does well, such as using level 3 spread rounds and wither ammo, and creating a set that will ultimately allow you to stun lock and do major amounts of damage to anyone to your face. I like to call this build the Buckshot Siege Jump set, and you'll like this if you're someone that likes heavy build guns and big numbers, and also getting up close to a monster's face. So to be honest, this set is something that everyone and their great great grandmothers have already created in the past before, with their genre Dragon King eye patch, Nerge Waste, and Dober Chest. But there's not much you can do about these issues until something like G rank or a new set of armor from a new monster is released, with other more powerful skills introduced. So sadly, we have to stick with what we currently got. But until then, I managed to get this weapon from the event and saw how good its stats are. And although it does have minus affinity, this is literally not a biggie, as this can be easily negated with affinity mod or whatever. Also, the weapon has very low ammo type usage, meaning there's not much flexibility around using the common level 1 spread or pierce shots, as they're not currently available in the weapon. But it does offer us room for level 3 pierce, spread, and normal, and a few other ammo types that can be maximized as well. So with that being the case, and the fact that the weapon has very high raw, which is on par or slightly higher than the Nerd Giant and Anjanath Heavy Bow Gun with Spread 302, I decided to build around it for that very purpose of being a in-your-face monster and a large damaging weapon, either in big bursts or small bursts. It's kind of funny how powerful and ridiculous this weapon can be from just using spread bounds on their own, as with the flinch it adds to the monster every few rounds, you kind of don't want to put the weapon down out of pure love. But if you want more fun, then I suggest you try out the impact mantle with this build, because at that point it becomes pretty much bullying. Now the following skills are ones that I felt best suited for the set, but of course you can change out a few things if you want even more damage or want a bit more flexibility or a bit more safety. So we have attack 5 for that extra damage for our weapon, and we get that free 5% affinity as a bonus as well. Quick or i3 for that 10% affinity buff, but this is flexible to be taken off and switched with something else that may benefit you instead. Weakness Exploit 3 is a great skill for 95% of the builds ever created. Agitator 2 for that plus 9 in damage and plus 6 in affinity, which can also be switched, but this will benefit you a lot for small burst damage every time a monster gets angry. Evade Extended 2 to allow me to roll further, which I find will save you a lot of the times, as just using your shield won't always be viable in some situations. Next, we have Spread Ammo up level 1 to focus on increasing the damage that my spread shots will do even more. Maximum Might 1 to add on extra crit for our current build. And lastly, Non Elemental Boost level 1 for a huge attack increase for our current weapon, which I must say is absolutely needed because without it, it just feels quite weak and bare bones. Our Heavy Bowgun now has been modded to have two close range mods for more damage and a shield for extra protection for up close combat. And I also augmented it to have a Affinity Og and a Defense Og, which is useful as it's more defense and also has a chance to negate damage large or relatively small. But this can be replaced for a damage augmentation as that is also viable. I was going to say you could try slot as well, depending on what you want to go with skill wise. Health, not really that well because I believe that health augmentation via spread rounds only work on the first pellet, so you're not really getting a, a lot. I'm not 100% sure on that one. It's either the spread ones that's affected by it or the pierce ones. Either way, just play around to see which one feels the best for you. Overall, this set will give you 408 attack, which for your shots when you use the spread rounds will be varying from 20 per pellet to 28 plus per pellet, depending on what's the sweet point. 25% affinity, which once certain conditions are met, it can come up to around 81% crit and can be increased even more. 456 defense, which is a slight overkill since monsters are gonna still hit hard, and a generally terrible fashion set that really isn't doing much for my ego right now. So, playstyle, to be honest, this is a pretty simple setup for you guys since you're using spread bounce for this build for your main DPS, so it's a no brainer that you need to be up close to the monster to make it work. To do that, but firstly, make sure you bring with you the Rock City Mantle to allow you to negate monsters' wars and damage for a set period, as this will allow you to go ham on the monster. And as currently shown in the video, it gave me a lot of opportunity to deal large damage in quick bursts without being interrupted. However, do be careful as using this against monsters that hit fast and hard, such as Nergiante or Udagawon, 
can lead to you being carded easily simply because you can't out damage them quickly enough or stun them or generally the weak points don't always show up and plus the weapon does reload quite slow that I've come you noticed so in the heat of things sometimes you won't be able to reload quickly enough when opportunities are available so you could add on free reload mods to help with this but this means you lose out on extra damage and a shield so this is kind of where you want to play around with the current weapon and see which type of mods will best suit it for it. Maybe you want faster reload or maybe you want a bit of extra damage, it's entirely up to you at this point. Overall this set is nice if you want to build based on this weapon that can provide you a high damaging build, capable of stun logging a monster with its high damage or even better for speedrunning purposes. But if that's the case you're going to go with, you may need to configure some of the skills so it could be better suited for you. Not saying that the current set is not going to work for you, but there might be a few skills that you might want to change out to maybe give you a bit more extra damage in the meantime. Now that I've got this weapon out of the way with, I'm going to go try and farm the Tower of Gluton Heavy Bowgun with its 8 shot spread rounds. Do please pray for me because this is a weapon that I dearly do want and I know a lot of other people want the weapon as well but honestly if I can get this weapon, part of my life will be sorted. If you enjoy the content, then do leave a like and a sub, as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.